All right, Doctor Who enjoys. We got another trailer right after I reacted to the other one. We've literally got another one, and it's actually two minutes, so I hope we get some more substantive stuff from this one. And yeah, man, let's find out. But before we start, even though last last trailer reaction, I said this, go watch the full trailer if you want to see it without pauses. And then somebody again commented, oh, what makes a good reaction is when you keep pausing the video. Bro, I don't own this, right? I don't own Doctor Who. I can't play it in full without getting a copyright claim, which will probably block the video. Maybe it won't block the video, but it, you know, it can affect the channel, right? And regardless, regardless of how it affects the channel, you know, morally, I'm not trying to steal content that I don't own and, and profit off it, right? I'm not trying to do that. So if you want to see the trailer in full, go and watch it now and then come back if you want to watch me go through it and pause it to say my thoughts. Okay. Without, <laughs> with all that cleared up, let's let's find out what the homie shooty's up to in this little two minute thing. You ready for this? I'm so ready, bro. Okay, Tarda's coming back to uh, her. I can't remember her name. Ruby's adopted, adopt, adopting mother, adopt, adopted mother. Yeah. A fresh leather jacket. Give me the loving. Okay, that's uh, Rose from the Star Beast. I mean, yeah, I, I think I think we already knew she was gonna be appearing in this series, so fair enough. Now, stay back. We are going to rock through time. Ooh, wait, I want to see that. Okay, that's that look. That looks cool. I, I wonder if that's something that's been in Doctor Who before. I don't know. I mean, it could. It, I would imagine. I mean, you would have thought that with this new era, they'd try and be doing as much new stuff as possible rather than calling on the past. But like the whole, the entire start of the era is so like law based, with you know Tennant coming back. So who knows? But I mean, it looks that looks really good for a Doctor Who episode, right? This shot specifically, like. Crazy how far the budget's come since 1966. I want to get paused on that. Ooh, look at that orange coat. So is this like the cliffside where we saw the like the mural with the flowers? I don't know if this is going to be an important location where Ruby's going to die or something crazy's going to go down. Okay, so that's from a Beatles episode. So I was listening to the Review of Death podcast, and I think they said, I don't know where they get this info from, but I think they said that the first episode is on a spaceship, then the, the second episode is the Beatles, and they're going to drop at the same time. So we're going to get a double episode on the premiere of this season, so I'm going to have to react to both of those. Maybe I won't do them in one. Maybe I'll do them in separate videos, and then, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll try. And apparently, like, because of the way the release schedule's working, they wanted to, all the episodes to release at the same time. For everybody in the world so apparently doctor who drops at like 2 3 a.m or something in the uk on iplayer or disney plus i don't know if it's or wherever i don't know but yeah point being so that's kind of weird so i guess i'm going to be waking up and watching doctor who at like 6 a.m and just editing getting out the videos as fast as possible which i kind of which i honestly kind of prefer to staying up later to do it because with the 60th specials i was sort of like yeah, I couldn't chill out in the evening, right? Like, it was like, okay, Doctor Who episode's out, react to it, render it, edit the video, and then, yeah, and then it was like bedtime after that, but, yeah. Oh, this is so Bridgerton. Bridgerton. I need to watch... Do you guys want me to watch Bridgerton? That's a show, right? In, in this Netflix show, right? Uh, yeah, I'll watch it if you guys want. This is Ruby. You are... Okay. Wild, brave, and rude. Rude? Damn. Oh, blood almost getting third degree burns. No, you made it worse. Okay. Where shall we go? Okay, they walked across the zebra crossing, so that's the Beatles episode, right? Because they did the thing. Anywhere. Okay, cool spaceship. It looks like the, the spaceship from... It does, it does look a bit like the broadcast spaceship from Series 1 of Doctor Who, right? With like the TV game show shit. 
It's you. Space babies. Space babies. Wait. Can I talk? Oh, is it the universe, man? Let's have a random landing. Is it random landed? Thing. Okay, so it's, these are the giant slugs. I've heard about the giant slugs. So I, apparently this episode is supposed to be present day, I think. Like, on present day Earth. So that'll be fun. Ooh, so is that... That's not a slug then. That's a different episode. That's probably episode one, right? Because I, I, think, I think a lot of what we're seeing is the first three episodes of content, to be honest. And then so maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Listen to me. This is what we're trying to stop. All of life extinguished. Okay. Is that is that really is that the stakes of this story? Of this series? Like all life is gonna be extinguished. I guess that's what it usually is, right? But it's quite big, you know. Could have brought it down a bit close to home. You keep us safe? I will keep us safe. I mean you can't promise that, can you, Doctor, realistically? Acting! To be fair, I he does it, bro, bro does seem like he's a good actor, so I really hope they write some good scenes for him because, you know, he deserves he deserves some good some good acting moments, right? Come on. We've got work to do. <laughs> There's a storm. Shit, man, that's sick. The budget, bro. That looks like a that's like a, that looks like a scene from fucking looks like a shot from Avengers, man. That's crazy. Coming in, you. Oh shit. Is it, so is this, is this Jinx Monsoon? Because like I I don't know like is that like a a person in real life? Hold on, okay, American drag queen, yeah, Jinx Monsoon. So that's who that's supposed to be, right? I don't know anything about that, about that person, but yeah, <clears throat> I'd heard they're gonna be in this season. Called. Honey, I'm much bigger bang than you bargained for. I was. Which bigger bang? With a big bang? Shatter this silly little battlefield into dust. Okay. Bro's talking the talk. In a heartbeat. Into dust. Okay, I'm I'm excited to see what that scene is. That that looks like a fun scene. Like me some character moments and shit. I don't have a people, I don't have a home. But I have freedom. True. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm so I, I I fucking used to love dinosaurs as a kid, man. I'm excited for the dinosaur episode. Uh, it's just it's just cool seeing like a little CGI dinosaur landscape, man. It's just like brings back childhood nostalgia. Catching monsters, getting into scrapes. So okay. Yeah, catching monsters, getting into scrapes. So we saw this shot in the last trailer. I keep moving on to see the next thing. See, this is an interesting monologue here. Like, I wonder if they're gonna... I mean, I'm sure Doctor Who's explored that before. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'm sure it has. Like, he's he's, mon he's sort of monologuing about how he goes on and on and on experiencing things. Have you ever felt so alive? But it's like, on the other side of it, it's like, oh, yeah, but you never belong anywhere and you, nothing's ever permanent and nothing ends, you know what I mean? So I wonder if... I mean, that, that's a really cool... Like, if they can make a really deep episode about the fact that the Doctor goes forever and nothing ends, that would be... Quite a cool episode. I don't know if they're gonna do that, but I would like that. And that's just the beginning. Okay, we're we're confident the show's not gonna get cancelled. Then, <laughs> I mean, I hope, I hope, I hope, I honestly really hope the show does well. It don't get cancelled, but you know, I re the show is really it's not safe yet because it was nearly cancelled after Power of the Doctor, and the specials were bad. Like they were. Decent, but it's like they, they ain't brought the show back, back yet. So, series 14 is really, I think, a lot's hinging on this series, man. So, I hope it's, I really hope it's good. I'm ex I am excited. I am positively looking forward to it. I'm optimistic. Don't, don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official. Yeah. Okay, right. Call to action. Don't forget to click subscribe on the Merc Movies channel. Don't subscribe to Doctor Who. Subscribe to Merc Movies. Yeah, man. That's the trailer. I don't have much to say about that. But 
It is definitely a more extensive trailer. I guess that the main the main takeaway I got from this trailer was that we got we got to see some uh, yeah we got to see some moments. So this scene in particular here, right? This is the scene I most. This is what was most interesting to me about the trailer because, like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, like, these kinds of scenes are what make films and TV good. These are the, you know, the the the, the character moments where something important or pivotal to the to the story happens. Right? These are the most interesting moments where you get to see an actor like act and you know get into you know express a very strong emotion right so i'm um, uh, yeah like i like i said i really hope that they give shooty some nice some good scripts to work with and here and yeah hearing that moffat is is has been overseeing the series really like fills me with more confidence and not to say moffat doesn't have his flaws like you know um yeah it's definitely flaws with his era but i think a combination of rtd and moffat together theoretically has the potential to be to make for a very good series of doctor who so yeah like obviously rtd's the showrunner but it seems like moffat's been you know reading reading over the scripts and probably offering his thoughts right and um yeah he's offering his thoughts and i think he's also written one episode so i'm very i'm excited for the moffat episode i really hope the moffat episode is something cool Hopefully that's not me like setting myself up for disappointment, but uh, I don't know. I just really like it to be a cool episode concept because you know Moffat's episodes in the, in the first RTD era were bangers, man. Like you can't deny they were bangers, and I hope it's going to be like that again. But yeah, regardless, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you guys keep continuing to watch me while I'm not really posting consistently while I'm working on uni. Like I keep saying. Literally, my, my dissertation is due in two days before this first Doctor Who episode of the new series airs. So, I mean, I'll have, I have one more essay to do after that, but I can get that done in like one day. So pretty much from when this new series of Doctor Who starts, I'm going all in on the channel, uh, posting a bunch of movie reactions. Uh, Doctor Who content will speed up and I'll try and chuck another TV show in there and to keep it, keep it going. So yeah, I'm hyped about that. If, if, if you're interested, I've got a Patreon, top link in the description, where you can find full-length un unedited reactions to whatever I do. So check that out and hit subscribe. If you're not interested, just hit subscribe. Continue watching the reactions because, yeah, man. Help the line graph go up. Come on. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about the trailer and what you're excited about for the new series. And I'll catch you later.